Hey Virgo, welcome to your general love read for singles. All right, I've been called to do this, so here it is. So um, this reading is still just a general, okay? And so take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, if there's someone you're interested in, I could be picking up on their situation and not yours, all right? So um, just take it as it is, okay? If it's not for you, it's not for you. If it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, all right? It really helps with my channel and helps with um, the contributions to the energy. As well, um, there's all the links down below in the description box that if you're looking for a personal reading, um, if you'd like to look at the Patreon tiers for the different programs that I have, if you um, have an interest in um, any of the decks that I use, there's a link to my blog post about that, as well as a link if you want to give a karmic donation, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to lay out a spread, past, current, future, okay? And then I am going to um, go ahead and look at the heart of the issue here. And then I will um, clarify a few things, get some advice going forward from the universe, and then um, a card from the oracles, from the angels, okay? So I'm just laying out past, current, future energy. The thing about future energy is that's all in your hands, okay? If you decide that it's not the outcome that you desire, you are the one that gets to um, change everything, okay? That's one of the things that I like to teach my clients about tarot. So past energy, okay? I do feel like in your mind, you were kind of going with the flow. However, there was a very pulled back, restrictive energy, okay? Now this could have been that you were really going with the flow and your person that you had been with was very restricted. Um, for someone I'm getting here, it was just that perhaps you, you know, your life, something in your life or your lifestyle was not allowing you to um, get out there and date, okay? But you were pulled back, you were res resisted, you were looking to the future though, okay? That's why I kind of feel like um, you either were, um, I just feel like for, it was like, you weren't really able to date. Maybe you were in school, maybe, um, you know, college, um, or perhaps you just hadn't met the one and you just weren't like, I'm not going to do like the apps and all that. I want to meet my person in person and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So you were though looking, when does this future come? When does this come? When do I get what I'm looking for here? Okay. So current energy, okay? I feel like you're coming through a rebirth here, okay? A brand new transition. And someone has sparked you, okay? And your gut is telling you that this is the one, but your mind is telling you no way, no how, okay? And you're really being guided here to listen to your gut, okay? because this Ace of Cups that's coming forward here, all right, this is like my Twin Flame Soulmate card. Now, it doesn't mean that this is going to be easy, okay? Because in the beginning, it may feel easy, and then you're gonna go through all the transformational work that this kind of a really big, um, essential love soulmate kind of connection brings to you, all right? The future energy here is that it's opening you up very creatively. It's opening up your courage. Um, 
it's really moving you in a direction that you probably wouldn't have taken in the past. However, there is a push here about going against your beliefs. Now, this could be somebody who is already involved with someone, okay? Or regardless, it's someone that is not able to give to you fully. Now, perhaps if you weren't dating because of um, family and lifestyle, this person is not from that sort of family and lifestyle. This person is very different, but the heart wants what the heart wants, okay? So um, this is going against the grain, and this is going to pull up a lot of um, very different energies for you, okay? So let's look at the heart of this little rebirth that you're going through. Okay, you are breaking free from all of the chains that bind you, okay? If you look at this, okay, there's this whole sort of breaking free and this roar and I'm living my life, okay? You're breaking free of the codependency that has been holding you in space, okay? And you're being guided here, okay, to let your friends help you. And by letting your friends help you, it actually feels like it's going to lead you, okay, to this higher level commitment within your relationship. All right. Let's clarify, okay? Okay, so I feel like what was resisting, what was restricting you here, okay, is this King of Swords. And the sword really, to me, I feel like is actually looking like a cross, okay? And the king does kind of appear to have these kind of gnarly wings, like, coming out of his back. So I do feel like even if it wasn't a father figure, okay, there is a strong underlying energy, of this is the way you are supposed to do things and you only do things this way, okay? And that kind of held you back, but looking for the future. And all this time while you're being held back, you're thinking, you're reflecting, okay, on what it is that you want, what will make you, okay, happy finally. And there's this energy of slowly crawling out of this space and this inability to open up and love, okay? But really focused on, it's almost like, get me the hell out of here, sort of an energy. Let me get to my future already, okay? This love coming in, this new love, this Ace of Cups, this ends a huge cycle for you, okay? And it opens you up to a journey space here, okay, where you are releasing fear, you're seeing yourself in your truth, and you're standing your ground for everything that it is that you want and desire, okay? Now, the not ending a cycle over here in the future it's just you kind of being in these emotions, going through this new love, okay? Following your path and just believing that your higher self is guiding you to where you need to be. However, because this person is not necessarily giving you, okay, their whole truth, their whole self, there is a fear, okay, of rejection, 
there is a fear that you're going to get hurt. So you're just being reminded, okay, when you feel that fear, pull into your inner strength, and if need be, slow things down, okay? You don't have to rush through everything, all right? Time is, is on your side, okay? All right, so advice going forward here. Okay, so yes, lots of love coming in, but you, I want you to recognize, okay, as the Queen of Cups, that you don't need someone to fulfill you, okay? Keep that in mind here, that you are a self-fulfilling, like, bombshell, all right? And um, you don't need someone to tell you that you are everything that you are. Now, there is this energy, okay, that you are moving forward. You may actually be physically moving in order to um, be with this person. Again, I feel like it is going to be a little bit imbalanced here because justice came out that this move, okay, is crossing energy. So I feel like it's going to be a little bit imbalanced, all right? And you need to know that there's a lot of baggage coming in with this. Okay, six of wands in reverse. There's a lot of baggage coming in from this person. Okay, but again, like I said, the heart wants what the heart wants. Um, if this person is married, I don't recommend it. But um, heart wants what the heart wants. So if you're looking at the truth, which I feel like you are, okay, right here, because the top of this deck, bottom of the deck, whatever, is um, Ace of Swords just being that truth? Okay, have a lot of courage going into this new beginning, okay? Because this is definitely a life changing um, connection for you. But stay very connected to your angels, okay? Call in that protection as needed and allow that love to be with you, okay? At all times, that love and protection. And that way, when you make choices, you will make healthy choices, all right? So I hope that this helped you, and I hope that I will see you again, all right? Bye.